with the winter season now here, it's hard not to think about the power grid failure and the devastating winter storms that hit Texas in February of 2021. And now we're hearing about a reported plan to link ERCOT, our power grid, to the eastern electric grid. It would allow Texas to draw power in an emergency. As IT reporter Brian New shares right now, this proposed project isn't new and it's far from a done deal. When Texas froze three years ago, the power went out, and in some cases, it stayed out long enough oh my God. to cause billions of dollars in damages. Many of you are angry, and you have a right to be. In that moment, had ERCOT been better connected to other electric grids, experts say Texas could have imported much needed power from out of state. As we think about other winter storms that have hit other parts of the country, those areas that have the ability to import lots of power remotely are the ones that are most able to sort of, uh, you know, survive the weather. Texas has long resisted connecting to avoid federal oversight. But Beth Garza, a former ERCOT monitor, says she believes there's a way to connect and keep ERCOT's independence. I'm not looking for federal oversight of the electricity system here, but there are ways to increase ERCOT's ability to draw on resource, remote resources from outside the region. One of those plans is the proposed $2 billion Southern Spirit connection. The plan calls for a 400-mile transmission line to be built from Texas across Louisiana and into Mississippi. These high-powered lines would export Texas's solar and wind power out of state. And in emergency cases, the energy flow could be reversed and Texas could pull in power from the east. According to federal records, the project was first submitted for approval in 2011, but struggled to gain traction. After the winter storm in 2021, Pattern Energy, the private developer, restarted the project. But it's still far from a done deal, as several regulatory hurdles need to be cleared. The company estimates construction could start in two years, with completion set for 2029. While there are still a lot of ifs associated with this privately funded project, the Southern Spirit Connection could provide the Texas grid with an additional 2,000 megawatts of electricity. That's enough, according to industry reports, to power nearly 4,000 homes in Texas. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS News, Texas.